What they did actually was just throw it at the front part of the residence and there was no one there to receive her so it was just left there. We were very very stressed. Hello guys, welcome to Ampedal Art. I'm Mai and I'm very happy to be with you today because today we're going to be doing a very different doll video. This time it's an unboxing video. And yes, I haven't done an unboxing video in like a lot of years. I mean, the last one I remember was in 2014, I think, from the frozen November set. I mean, it's a long time, right? I'm so happy I cannot wait to open her. So if you want to see this video with me and to know the story behind it because as you know with every doll that the Disney store releases there's a story behind so if you want to hear that story stay with me and yes we're going to be doing it right now don't forget to follow me on all my social media as Empedal Art and now let's start I wanted this doll because when I saw that she was coming out I really liked the face mold which was like an upgrade to the last doll that they had I got this first doll as a gift to myself on my birthday I don't remember which birthday it was but it was like many years ago then I had to sell it because you know life sometimes is hard and so I had to sell my doll but I was very very excited about adding a new Rapunzel doll to my collection a Rapunzel doll that I wanted to keep like forever so I was really into this doll not into her dress so much but you know as a doll designer creator of outfits I knew this wasn't like something I couldn't fix so I thought as I told you in another video I'm going to add a new outfit to this doll and and everything is going to be fine. I had my plan about buying her this day, but suddenly, as you know, this doll sold out online. And since I'm in Mexico and I couldn't go to the United States because, you know, they wouldn't let me because of the pandemic and yeah, whatever. I was like, okay, so I'm not gonna be able to buy it. But then my mother said, I want to give you this doll as a present for Christmas. So she said, you should be trying, like, keep trying. Maybe you can get it. And I was like, mom it says sold out and she was like no 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 keep trying keep trying so i was like okay i'm going to try and i was refreshing there i said to myself okay it happens sometimes the dolls get restocked during night or you never know apparently the doll sold out and i was like okay here we go again and i had to think about a plan b and my plan b was you know go into the facebook groups and see if someone can do a, a local pickup and then ship it to me and you know that when i went there there were actually people saying i went today and at my store there were like eight Rapunzel dolls left so if you want to go there are some it's your chance right and there were a lot of people asking like please go and pick one for me and i was like one of them and i remember reading someone like a girl saying like i'm going back but I'm going to go to my home and get me a wig and then I'm going back to the store because I don't want them to say like hey you came today morning I don't want you to get the other dolls this girl actually uploaded a picture with a wig and she looked really really cute and everything but it was funny because I didn't believe that she was gonna be doing that but yeah she did but unfortunately by the time she arrived to the store well they were already sold out as well and just to let you know okay what I ended up doing is that I wrote a post on a Facebook group I don't remember which one but it was only on one group and what I received from that post at the first were very negative comments from collectors and they were basically telling me go to eBay, buy from resellers. It was like horrible because basically they were all negative and I was like the community is not very helpful at all. Suddenly, out from nowhere, I don't know how, there was this very nice, beautiful angel, my new friend Leanne, who said like, I'm going to go tomorrow to the Disney store and she was the person who saved the day and I was so happy because at first I wasn't really sure because she was talking about having an eye surgery and I was like, really, are you going if you already had like a surgery? I wasn't really sure and I was a little bit embarrassed. She actually went there and she called before going and the person at the store told her like yes there are I don't remember the number but there were some left and by the time she arrived there was only one only one guys so she got it for me and I was like you know like very very excited very very happy and believe me I couldn't I, I couldn't believe it but it was like all meant to be so that's why I say like she's like a fairy it's like an angel like a very good mother I never thought that someone was going to be helping me because as you know it's, it's not an easy thing we are going through hard times with the COVID and everything but 
you know, there's good to know that there are good people in the community and, and I'm so lucky, really, really, more than getting the doll, I, I think that I'm more lucky about getting to know someone as special as here, so I'm, I'm, I'm about to cry, you see, like, see my eyes, so, okay, sorry guys, the reason why I wanted to show my face in this video and do it different because I want to express myself, I want to show my emotions and my gratitude to Liam. It is a relief to be having this doll here right now because you USPS, what they did actually was just throw it at the front part of the residence and there was no one there to receive her so it was just left there. We were very very stressed because we thought like someone can steal the package and you know like it's not going to be possible to get another one, she's like more expensive now. But she was okay, she's now here, nothing else happened but just to let you know if you are going to be chipping your dolls with USPS, just be careful because yes, they tend to do this type of things. So if you have a camera, it's better. So right now, after I already told you the story, I'm going to be grabbing the package that is already there. And I'm gonna be putting it here and I'm going to start opening it. Well guys, here is the package. As you can see, it says fragile in a lot of parts of the box. And I'm going to start and use this exacto knife to do it quickly because if you remember on my first video I had a lot of difficulties while trying to open Elsa's box so I hope this is not the case with Rapunzel Christmas card you know because she actually sent the doll like some weeks ago but as you know there were a lot of delays with USPS look I'm so excited thank you my friend really I'm very very excited I'm going to read it it says may the holiday season bring you joyful moments warm memories and very special happiness I hope you and your family have a Merry Christmas. Enjoy, Liam. Oh, thank you very much. I hope you had a very beautiful Christmas time too. And I cannot wait to see the doll. Believe me, I'm very, very happy. And here is another thing. Okay, it's... Okay. A sticker. Oh, I really like it because it's my name. And yeah, maybe you don't know, but this is my real name, which in, in Spanish it is Mariel, but in English it's like, you know, like the little mermaid, but with an M. My mother is the one who started calling me Mai, that's why I'm Mai, but yes, basically, um, as, you, as I already told you, my real name is Mariel. Now, I cannot see the doll yet, because as you can see, it's the under part of the box, so I'm gonna try to open it like this. She's very beautiful. Oh my god, guys, look at this. She's very, very beautiful. I really love Pascal. I'm so happy. She's really, really beautiful. Better than I thought. As you know, these dolls in stock pictures, they look like very weird, but in person, they are so much better. I love them. I'm so happy. Oh my god. Real, I'm gonna be crying again, so <laughs> I think I'm going to have to cut that part from the video. No, that's just a joke. But, oh my god, thank you so much, Leon. I'm so happy. Los Reyes Magos, Navidad, everything is today. And look at the braid, guys. It's really, really long. It has a lot, lot of flowers. And I'm going to be adding more flowers to her because I already have the new dress I'm going to be adding to her, but probably another video where I debox her. And um, she said that I was going to be liking the eyelashes and I really like them in person. They are better. I don't know why some people were saying that they didn't like them. I really like them a lot. And... I feel like the doll and Pascal itself, they are very happy to see me too. I don't know, I have that feeling. Let me just check because I was very, very afraid that the doll was going to be having like a damaged box. But she seems to be okay. 
she seems to be fine. And as you can see, here's the back. It's very entangled. And this is the ribbon, everything. Okay guys, so here I am again. I cannot stop staring at her because it's like very, very beautiful. And Pascal too, because you know, he has like, I don't know if it's the position that he's in. He's like, please take me out of the box. I don't know, to me it's like screaming that when I see that face, you see it now. And I feel like, the box and my makeup, it's almost the same tone, so it is really cool, like it matches the ribbon, everything. So this day is a very, very special day now, I'm so happy. It took like about a month, more or less, I think, for the doll to arrive here in Mexico. But I'm so happy that you made it okay, the box is fine, it doesn't have details or anything, the plastic is okay. And you know, she comes from Phoenix, Arizona and is in a good shape, so I think I'm... I, I feel relieved right now. I'm going to be uploading a video soon with her new dress because we were saying that by the time she arrived I was going to be having a new wardrobe for her because she was taking like a lot of time to be delivered and yes, I mean, I, I didn't have that time to do more stuff, I mean more, more outfits because I'm working on a commission but I'm going to be uploading a new video with the dress I created for you to see how beautiful she is and probably I will go more into detail about her outfit outfit, her box and everything. So thank you guys for watching, I am so happy, thank you Leanne for this beautiful doll and for helping me in this mission that would seem like way too impossible, she's not damaged or anything, I'm so happy. And yes, I cannot wait to go to Phoenix and give you a big 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 hug to thank you. If you want to see more doll content, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell. It's not ring the bell, right? It's like click on the bell button. Yeah, don't forget to click on the bell button. And also follow me on my social media as Empidol Art. Also, if you want to see like, you know, Disney inspired makeup, let me know because that could be like something interesting to add to the channel because that won't be exactly for the dolls, but for you. If you like this idea, let me know. You stay safe, happy new year, and I'll see you next time with more doll videos. Bye-bye.